Joe Ellen, just want to start with you. And we have the the demographic information, right? Um, whether they're married or not, or and have kids, where they get their news, and what their job is. Um, as you look through this list, and I know you've studied it and studied some of the notes that have been sent by reporters who are in the courtroom, what strikes you? <laughs> well, there are several things that strikes me. Number one, uh, juror number 11 is a woman who today in her voir dire indicated that um, she thought that um, Trump was a very selfish man and uh, she works in a, a public, uh, a civil servant capacity. Um, and Trump's team actually tried to challenge her for cause. The judge denied it, and so she now sits on this jury. Um, I think also the fact that we have two civil lawyers on this case is hugely important. And the reason behind it, number one, is one of them is bound to be the foreperson of the jury. Number two, uh, even if they're not the foreperson uh, of the jury, they're going to be, people are going to uh, acquiesce to their views and going to ask them, well, you know, based on your knowledge of the law, the jury instructions say this, the verdict says this, you know, how do we uh, parse this all out? Uh, so that's a concern. Also, the fact that they are lawyers, lawyers are trained to always take the other side. Uh, in terms of the view of uh, any case. So it could go either way for either side, either the prosecution or for the defense. And I also would like to add that these 12 people may not necessarily be the 12 people that right. go through to the end. We know today there were two jurors um, that were lost because of uh, information that both sides learned about them. Yeah, so Trump evidently, I mean, told us out of the, the peremptory were challenges, the way of sort of saying they were going to kick somebody off. I guess that's how um, they ended up with juror number 11. Michael, um, how much of this is already appealable? Uh, the fact that one of the jurors was kicked off for lying is a problem. All of the uh, challenges made for cause that were not granted are appealable. We're just getting started in the process of this is a, this jury is probably going to be sworn in tomorrow. Once they are sworn in, jeopardy attaches. But will they remain fair and independent? But by, by that I mean, what is going to come out more about these jurors, and how are the jurors going to behave? In addition, I think the jury consultant was dead on. Having two attorneys on this case is a stroke of perfection by the defense because this is going to come down to intent. And that intent is difficult to parse except for people's actions and then credibility. And I, I, I can't agree more with your other guests that they're going to follow two lawyers when it comes to getting into the weeds of this case. It was it, for the defense. It's a it's a great addition. And I cannot believe the prosecution let two attorneys on where there is so much technical uh, parts of this case. Wow. Um, all, all excellent points. Okay, so that's two book contracts at least, right? One for each of the attorneys um, on this case. Uh, jo Joellen, if you uh, if you think about this jury pool or the jury itself, and you're right to point out that you could have people kicked off and the alternates come in, but is the 12 R right now? Who does other than the two lawyers? Who does the defense focus in on? Well, in terms of uh, being and how do they do it? How, how do they do it in the yeah yeah? I mean, how, how does the defense yeah. focus on getting to that that one right? Because that's that's the math. They just they love twelve, but how do they who how and who do they focus on getting the one? What would be your advice to both the defense and to well, the defendant, for lack of a better term? So uh, what uh, any party does in a case, and certainly the defense will do this, is they will go back through the information shared in the questionnaire and voir dire to see how did they get the new, their news, what's important to them, uh, even looking at their social media to determine those things that are important. They will pick out those kernels of information that may appeal to that particular juror, uh, whichever juror you know, they are targeting in terms of being somebody that is potentially favorable to them. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.